I've come to the Asia House Literature Festival quite a few times over the years, quite often as an interviewer, sometimes in the audience. So I've seen it from those two angles and um, with my first book out this autumn, it felt like a very natural place to be coming, you know, as a speaker and a, and a writer for the first time. So it, it's rather nice to this year be able to see it from a different angle. It's so hard to pick a favourite Asian writer, but I think that there are lines from Rohinton Mysteries, A Fine Balance, which I, you know, which come to me even now, and it's probably 15, 20 years since I, since I read that book. There are also quite a few writers in Pakistan whose work resonates with me a lot because I know that country well. Um, Kamla Shamsi, Daniel Moedin, Jamil Ahmed. So all of them are writers whose work I've really enjoyed over the years. I think the best piece of advice in my book is probably about preparing for big moments because I think those sort of stressful encounters, usually at work, maybe elsewhere, can fill us all with dread. And I've really tried to identify the, the ways that you can just try and break them down and do as much of the thinking through in advance as possible so that when you're faced with the apprehension of the actual moment, you've, you've thought it through to a sufficient degree and planned out what you're going to say and planned how you're going to remember what you're going to say in a way that you've taken some of the legwork and some of the hard work out of it. And then you just have to deal with the you know, with the, with the nerves that you may have in the moment and that are perfectly understandable, but some of the stress has been taken out of it. To budding journalists, I would say use all the technological tools that you have at your disposal today. So be able to take great photographs, edit footage, all of those things that technology now makes it much easier for us to do so that you can be as multimedia as you can. And, you know, whether you're already writing or whether you're dreaming of, uh, of working in journalism, your social media profile can be a great platform for what you do. So show your knowledge, show your interest, show your curiosity. Chances are any employer is going to Google you or, or look up your, your social media presence before they employ you or before they interview you. So make sure that they are focused and targeted on how you want to portray yourself and use them as an avenue for your journalism. At the moment, I'm combining getting the word out about my book and hoping it reaches as many people as possible and a really busy time in the day job because this autumn and the months ahead are going to be very intense politically for the Brexit negotiations, for the domestic um, political situation as, as at home as well. And so I think it's, a, it's going to be a really intense period for, for all journalists in this country in, in the period that we have coming up.